Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review the final episode of Moose Eigen No Phantom World. So, the final episode of Moose Eigen No Phantom World started off with Haruhiko uh, was in, going to uh, went to the hospital where his mom is in a coma basically until Ignima is defeated. So they all, you know, after that, they realize that because the teacher tells them that they go back to his house and Rudu is acting a little strange. She's much nicer, almost like a sister or I almost got a motherly vibe from her, but also kind of a sister vibe from her, an older sister vibe. So yeah. And they were all sitting around, you know, kind of talking about Rudu and, like, what's going on. And then Koito, meanwhile with Koito, she was uh, trying to find Ignuma. And she came basically bursting into his house afterwards because there was these people trying to get her to locate Ignigma. But anyway, after that, she came bursting into his house. She, like, opened the door and they're like, ah. <laughs> They all got scared, like, ah. And uh, she's like, where's that device? I, you need to fix it right now. And he's like, what? Right now? I can't do it. I, it's taking me forever. And then it ended up where um, Kudumi-chan's bear, uh, Abueto, or however she says it. That's how she says it, but I, I, yeah. Anyway, that bear is good hacker and good at fixing things because she's like it fixed dad's computer one time and yeah but anyway it fixed the device and they figured out that the, the thing behind Ignigma was that the basically the government was taking phantoms mixing them with other animals and human stuff and basically making their own phantoms for military use and um their own personal gain and I'm like yeah if there were supernatural creatures in our world the government would do that they would. It makes sense. Yeah. Well, let me get to that later. But anyway, so after that, they all figure out, well, we need to defeat Enigma. So, they, uh, but they also, um, well, let me go back to this. At the hospital, uh, Hadihiko met his mom's current husband, and he gave him this, like, picture book, and also a picture when Hadihiko was a little kid, and the mom. So, you know, that was a little snippet we got, but, uh, it seemed like, oh yeah, anyway, so, Enigma went to the hospital to get more powers, because that's where lots of people with powers, and there's this data thing that she can get and learn how to control phantoms by herself, and so, doing that, she's going to the hospital where Hiroko's mom is, and obviously they're all like, well, we gotta go save mom, you know, we can't have her die. That wouldn't be good. So they all go to the hospital to stop Enigma, and when they do, of course at this point, Hadahiko doesn't have any more powers. So my Reina, and Kudumi, or really Kudumi's bear, try to fight Enigma, doesn't quite work out, and, well, they get beaten down, and Enigma is about to get their powers, but then Hadahiko steps in and tries to punch Enigma, but the fails horribly and trips. Well, he almost trips. And she just kind of moved out of the way like, Ugh. like whatever kid, I got more power than you and Rudu combined. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. What? So basically how to get Hadahiko's powers back came down to, the teacher said this by the way, the teacher said, Hadahiko, if you and uh, Rudu, do the same thing that Enigma does to steal people's powers, you'll get your powers back because Rudu is born from you. Though in my last review, in episode 11, somebody commented uh, that Rudu might have been born, or basically that's what they said, I don't remember exactly what they said, but Rudu might have been from Hadahiko. And they were right! If you're watching this, you were right about that. She was. <laughs> so basically, yeah, that's what, how that happened. And Hadahiko and... Rudu kissed and it looked weird because his entire lip took up her face and I was just like what the heck this is our romance <laughs> oh gosh and I expected him and Mai to kiss for whatever reason because the, the, the ship you know main girl first girl guy meets always gets the romance poor Reyna anyway so then after that, he got his powers back, and when he summoned Kutulu and the dog, I don't remember, Makriosis or whatever the name of it was, starts with an M, they were actually, like, not the little dog and the, like, the chibi-looking octopus thing. They were, like, these really cool monsters, and I was like, that looks so cool. Uh, 
and then they all band it together, Mahai, Reina, Kudumi, to defeat Enigma, and at the end, Enigma gets defeated, and she's like, I'm glad I got to spend time with you, and Hadahiko was like, so am I, or so did I, and I'm just like, all right, and so everybody was happy, and everything ended well. Also, Rudu was born from him because it, the book that his dad gave him was Aladdin. I'm like 90% sure it was Aladdin, so that's why Rudu has that Arabian outfit going on. Because apparently there was a character in that book that looked like her. <laughs> also, there was a little scene with his mom where they were reconnecting and it was so sad I almost cried but I tried to stop myself from crying I'm like I won't cry I won't do it because I always cry at every anime I watch usually okay I want to get to the point though I'm going to give this series a seven for counting character story animation and music music the only good music that I can remember from this is the opening song and there's this one track that they played during happyish moments that I really liked. I don't know what it's called. So there's this, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, characters, they were very generic, but that made it easy to follow the story because it's like, you know these characters already because you've seen it a thousand times in anime. <laughs> so you know everything about them already, you know, it's kind of obvious. So, animation. Again, Kyoto Annie does amazing animation so every time I'm watching it I'm just like it's so pretty and characters animation story story very generic again I mean it's not bad like this is the anime I would show to somebody who wants to get into anime per se and wants a little mix of everything that anime has to offer you know this is kind of a a, a gateway anime I'd like to call it you know this is something to show somebody hey this is what anime can do, but there's shows that do it better. But here's a little gateway anime. So yeah, that was my review for the entire series and this last episode of Musagino Phantom World. This would be an anime I'd recommend to people who want to get into anime, not necessarily when you're already into it and you kind of seen lots of series. It's a good gateway anime, I believe. I'd say, at least. So guys, I'll see you in my next review, okay? See you then. Bye.